What's going on? Not really a fan of edge riders or unify firewalls. Uh, I don't remember why I actually went and got a edge router. I think it was just because the server I was running PFSense on killed itself, and then uh, I needed something quick to get my uh, my network back up and running. But I I don't know the ed the edge router has been okay. I don't have a ubiquity firewall. Uh, in the future, would you show how to set up an AP with two SSIDs and a VLAN on... Oh, uh, I can show you that right now, because I kind of have that set up. Um, so, I have two APs. They're both um, the APAC lights, Unify APs. Both of them are set up. Um, let me see. I guess I could show you the everything, uh, since it'll remind me of how my whole network works. Should be this switch. Get me to remember how to use Cisco Cisco equipment as well. Um So we'll see. So here's the so here's one of them, the basement AP. That's 0, 014. So this is how I have the switch set up. So these are, um, uh, I have it set up as a trunk, the actual port that it's connected to. Uh, they're a, um, PoE. This one's got a PoE injector. I set the native VLAN to whatever VLAN I want my AP to pick up um, a DHCP address from. So in my case, it's VLAN 2. Um, and then all the uh, VLANs that you want to be able to uh, use off of that AP, you just add it to the allowed uh, command. I don't know how this works in other switches and that kind of thing. I, I mostly know Cisco. I'm sure it's pretty easy to do in the Ubiquity switches and, and stuff like that. But that's how I have that set up and we can take a look at... So I have this... This switch is upstairs and runs where it's connected to like all my cameras and stuff like that. Um, uh, this is the other AP here. So it's the same thing. I just have one less VLAN on this one. But uh, native VLAN 2, and then allowed is the ones that you want, and it's set to a trunk. So that's the the actual set, like the network setup. And then when you when you fire these things up for the first time, if you have the controller up, um, I just have DHCP. So if we go over here in the edge router, go to services, DHCP server. So LAN 10... Two zero or whatever. Yeah, Super Putty is great. It comes. It, I got hooked on it when I started using it with GNS3, which is a network simulator. When I was doing that in school, and then uh, I never, never went to any of the payware ones or whatever. It's just nice to have all the tabs. But anyway, yeah, I just have DHCP set up on LAN, and then when you plug these things in, they'll grab a, uh, they'll grab an IP and update, and then. I can't remember what exactly the process is to linking them to the controller, but it's it's really easy. Um, the APs come with it. If you're using different APs like Cisco APs or whatever, you'll have to figure it out uh, in in their controller software. I used to use Cisco APs until I got these. Um, and then setup is super simple for network. You set as using DHCP, but I think you do that in the general setup. And then when you set up your networks. So we go to the settings, we go to Wi-Fi networks, and then, so I have this SSID is the main one where, so this one, so since that the VLAN is native on the port, this is just automatically gonna be using VLAN 2. Um, so on the, my main SSID, I have it set to no, not using a VLAN. If we switch over to one of these other networks, so a like guest, I have a guest, a uh, guest network and where is use VLAN? So VLAN, uh, use VLAN is set to check, and then VLAN ID is three. And if we go back to the switch, you can see that I've allowed VLAN three on there, and routing is set up for VLAN three. So if we go back in here and look at right here, so guest LAN, we're using a Ethernet five dot three VLAN, and it's as it's able to route between stuff and connect to the internet and that kind of thing. That's and then you set up your firewall rules re related to that specific um, 
that specific VLAN, and that'll apply to everything that's connected on the, this, this wireless network. I think I have one more setup like that. Uh, Elliot, this one I believe is on 10. Yeah, so same thing. This is one. This one's VLAN 10, and there's different firewall rules depending on what they are. But yeah, that's about it. It's pretty simple to set up. Anyways, I'm gonna drop off the quick enough <laughs> stream back again. Maybe I'll do this a little bit more often. But uh, thank you all for watching. And if you want to continue and ask questions and that kind of thing, I'll probably be on my Twitch channel tonight, and I'm on there quite a bit, probably three or four times a week. Links somewhere around. Um, and uh, yeah, get over there and give it a follow. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>